finally got some eggs, so I'm about to turn this closet into an incubator. Um, using this oil heater. Oil is safer than the other types. And I'm just gonna sit them up on the shelf there. Today my pinstripe laid eggs. And so I gotta go ahead and get this all together. Caught me unprepared, but I'm glad I came home early. Uh, she wasn't due until Saturday. So they can come home early. It's best to check them every day. All right. All right. When I'm expecting eggs, I like to keep the temps at about 80 to 90. I'm sorry, not 80, but 89 to 91 degrees. That way, when I'm at work, I keep the temp at least where it needs to be to give myself some more time. Try to keep it moist in there. So, the pinstripe laid her clutch. I'm going to have to take her out for eggs. Usually they stop pissing and going to the bathroom, but she never did. She just kept using the bathroom. I just changed her out a couple of days ago and she pooped before laying the eggs. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get her on, get the eggs on some substrate. I take a shoebox and I use vermiculite. So that's the vermiculite that I use and I just pour it in here, oops, that's all over the floor now. I got a little help so hold on, alright so you pour the vermiculite in here, maybe two inches. Keep in mind that helps keep the moisture throughout the incubation. So you don't want to be shy with the vermiculite. If you run out, go buy some more. You definitely want to have enough. And then you put half and half. I mean, you put, I'm sorry, the ratio is one to one for water. I was just moving things around. But uh you set the scale to zero. Actually I'm doing this wrong. Let me do that again. It is set to wait. Okay, this is how you do it. You weigh this first to see how heavy it is. See how much vermiculite you have in there. I kind of did it wrong. I should have weighed it before I put the vermiculite in there. And then you weigh that. Tells you how much weight that is. 370.378. And then you put the water in there. Since I already put the vermiculite in there, just keep filling right there. I'm going to put this here. This tells me how heavy that is. And I'm going to do the math pretty quickly in my head. Okay. So I need about 230. Perfect. Mix this in. You don't want your vermiculite to be too wet because that's how you'll end up with moldy eggs. They'll get moldy. You don't want it to be too dry because then you will lose your clutch. So the ratio is one to one. And that's how you get it the wet, the depthness that you need. I like to I spot it too a little bit. Mm 
you want it to clump up like this, that's a good dampness. Don't take my word for it. Go do your research. Check out Ralph Davis videos. That's where I got my info from. Alright, now I'm about to take her off the eggs. Okay, keep showing the eggs right there. I'll wash her off, get her ready. consistency of the eggs are usually different per clutch these look like they are pretty thin um, I don't know where my you like to have a um, a flashlight so you can candle them just to check the vascularity on them but that is it I'm gonna get them in the in the um, incubator so that's it thanks Okay, um, and a very important step you don't want to forget, you got to wash the female off. Use a little bit of soap in the water or some type of reptile cleaning agent and just wash her whole tub out, sterilize it so she, so she cannot remember the eggs. The better you do that, the sooner you do that, the sooner she'll start eating again. So you can tell she's pretty thin and she'll be eating again. I'm going to try to feed her in a few days. and. And there we go. The next six, well, the next five girls are due at the same time in about two weeks. And then I got a sixth girl, a pastel, that's due maybe a week after them. So the season is finally started for me, and uh, we'll see where it go. All right, y'all, take it easy.